Hey, welcome back to Rocks and Roots Runner uh, channel. What we're talking about, how we're making some leather patches. Uh, the previous couple episodes, you know, we talked about how we wanted to emboss our patches using a simple bench vise, and then uh, we also looked at the black pro dye, uh, which is uh, one of our more, more popular patches that we sell um, on our uh, rocksandrootsrunner.com. It just uh, it's it's a great way to have a nice embossed patch that's that's all black and especially an American flag you know this is what it looked like uh, when we were wrap, wrapped up our last episode this time I want to show you how we make with the antique gel um, this is a very unique process uh, utilizing the EcoFlow antique gel that I have here I don't know if you can see a really good picture of it, but this is a larger American flag that I also have available on rocksandrootrunner.com. Again, these are um, all available for purchase. They're four, and a half, four to five ounce bench tan leather, great for embossing, or they're already pre-made if you'd like to buy. Uh, but this is what we want to show you, how, to, how this process works with another American flag. It's in a smaller size. This is very simple. You know, again, once you've embossed your patch and you've let it dry completely, I have the EcoFlow Gel Antique gel antiquing gel is what it is. Um, this is a, a product that is available on Amazon.com. Um, Prime shipping for the Prime members. It comes out really, really fast. And so it's basically a very similar process where you put the dye on the patch and then you'll rub it around with a, a dauber and then we take a paper towel and wipe off the excess. Um, so we're going to show you how to do that real quick. Again, we have a dry American flag stamp and you can do that with anything any of these patches too you know this is it's all the same pr process what I like to do is I usually put three or four drops of the antique gel on there then I'll take a dauber that I currently already have and been using and I will wipe it around really good on here make it well covered on the patch if I want to get it in the camera here so hopefully you guys can see just rub it around make sure it gets in all the, the nooks and crannies of the American flag, all the stars and stripes and so forth. And then I'll let it sit there for a second, but not too long because I don't want it real dark. The longer it sits there, the darker it gets. And then I take this, and then what I want to do is just kind of hit the top of the patch. Okay, I want to try to leave as much as I can within the grooves. Okay, and this one's got a little bit of spot right here, so you can always go back and add it. Just kind of wipe it off real quick again. And what that's done is it's kind of left a little bit of the antiquing in the stars or in the stripes and then the stars. Um, what I like to do, this, this will dry fairly quickly over the next probably 30 minutes, no problem. Um, but then if I really want a heavy contrast, much like this larger flag, I come back with a small paintbrush and I just dip it in the antique gel and I can just brush all the lines that I want darker. It wipes off very easy, so if you want to get... If, I mean, while it's wet. So if you get some on the, the part that you don't want to be darker, you can just take it and just kind of wipe it off and it, uh, real quick if, if, you, if that does become a problem. But uh, for the most part, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Now, just like the black flag, once it's finished, I have left trim. There's trim grooves around here on these patches. And so if you're making your own, this you probably want to plan for that too. What I do is on my, um, well, I don't have my patch here, but or my stamp, but what I leave is I create another groove around the outside of the stamp that basically embosses in there, and that gives me a nice line to trim around using my, my leather shears that I have here. Or if you want to go out and get a die, um, there's many places out there, especially if you're doing round die, uh, round pieces of leather, like two and a half inch or two inch, you can go out and buy a round die cutter. On Etsy, there's a whole bunch of folks that make it. Um, and then it'll make it really easy. You just put it on the top of them. You can hit it with a mallet and it'll cut it. It makes a nice edge for you. But I'm going to let this dry for a second, but I want to show you a little bit about that. So I have taken this. This is another patch here that I have. It is uh, an Endurious uh, logo. Um, and then I have trimmed some of it off. And you can kind of see there where I, where I have this trim line that's very noticeable around here. Um, and so basically what you want to do is just continue to cut around that trim line. Just be careful and you know if, especially when you're working for, with scissors but you just go around the edge to, to, um, to create your nice your nice edge around the part whether it's a circle or a square a rectangle and it creates that and then you can take your 
uh, antiquing gel after it's done and you just wipe around the edge of it. Okay, remember I told you that this comes off really easy while it's wet. So if you want to, once you do that and go around the edge, you can see it kind of get globbed around the face of it. I can take this and I just kind of quickly wipe, wipe it off, wipe off the excess on there. And it creates a nice edge, nice dark edge on that patch. And then I can go put stitching holes in it using a stitching chisel, or we can just glue it on to any um, from any fabrics. I use a fabric fusion uh, adhesive that works very, very well. Um, I also do these, make these hats the same way, where I put the fabric fusion on there, and I will glue it on after I put the holes in the patch, obviously, and then I'll come back and sew the patch on, so it, it creates a really, um, really nice patch uh, on a leather hat as well. So that was the way that we do our antique gel. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment below in the video or you can head over to rocksandreefrunner.com. It's my Etsy shop and you can uh, send me a message if you have anything that you want to, any questions about the process or any other products that I sell. We will see you next time. Thanks.